Hi everyone, it's great to be with you. Hope you're having a good day and a good week. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you go grab your Bible so we can use it. Let's start with our prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we love you so much. Uh, thank you for all that you do for us, uh, for your blessings and for your good news, Lord. I uh, pray that you would uh, keep us focused on you and continue to bless us. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so Christmas is over, but for my girls and probably for most of you, uh, they still have good news. They have all these really cool toys to play with. But even better than this playhouse or any toys you may have gotten, we have even better news, don't we? And that's what we've been talking about. Do you remember when Jesus healed Bartimaeus? And we talked about how important Bartimaeus was to Jesus. And then we saw how Jesus taught the Samaritan woman and how she went and told others about Jesus. Yeah. And then today we're going to look at someone else who told others about Jesus. We're going to see how Stephen preached. Okay. So let's grab our Bibles and we're going to go to Acts chapter 6, verse 8. You ready? Let's go find it. And let's say them together. It's in the New Testament. So let's say all the books together up to Acts. Okay. It goes Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, then Acts. If you hit Romans, you've gone too far. Okay. And we're going to be in chapter 6, verse 8. I've got mine here. Let's read these together. Okay. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then there arose some from what is called the synagogue of the freedmen, disputing with Stephen, and they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spoke. Then they secretly induced men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. And they stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, and they came upon him, seized him, and brought him to the council. They also set up false witnesses who said, This man does not seek not, does not cease to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and change the customs which Moses delivered to us. And all who sat in the council, looking steadfastly at him, saw his face as the face of an angel. Okay, so let's watch our video and then we'll talk about this. Stephen was a man in the early church who had great faith and power. He loved God and believed Jesus was the Savior God had promised to send. Stephen had an important message to share. He told people that Jesus had began to do miracles among the people. But some of the Jews were angry. They didn't like what Stephen said, especially when he talked about Jesus. They began to argue with Stephen, but they couldn't win an argument with God's Spirit. So the Jews got other men to lie about Stephen. We heard Stephen said bad things about God, the liars told people. So the liars, they stirred up the crowds, all the way to the point where the people dragged Stephen before the Jewish leaders. Men continued to lie about Stephen in front of the high priest and the Jewish leaders. As the men lied, people saw that Stephen's face, get this, looked like an angel. The high priest asked Stephen, are these charges true? So Stephen began to speak. He told stories of Abraham, Jacob, Joseph, Moses. He also spoke about King David and Solomon, a bunch of stories about the Old Testament. Then Stephen told the Jewish leaders how they had been the ones who killed Jesus, the righteous one of God. Well, this really set the Jewish leaders off. They were furious. Same with the crowd. When they heard Stephen, they became angry. Stephen, however, was filled with the Holy Spirit. He looked up into heaven and exclaimed, Look, I see heaven open up, and Jesus is standing at God's right hand. The people screamed, covered their ears, and ran up to Stephen. They dragged him out of the city and began throwing stones at him. Even while he's being stoned, Stephen prayed and asked God to forgive the people. Then Stephen died. So what are some things you saw from this story? 
This is kind of a tough one, isn't it? So Stephen was preaching about Jesus and some people from the crowd were not happy about it, were they? They got really upset and they tried to argue with Stephen, but God gave Stephen wisdom, didn't he? So that he was able to answer everything that they were saying, but they kept trying to lie about Stephen and getting the crowd stirred up. And what ended up happening? Yeah, they stoned Stephen, they killed him. So that's a tough story. Just like with the Samaritan woman, when she went and told others about Jesus, we wanna tell others about Jesus. But sometimes people aren't always happy to hear that. Yeah, sometimes people might be upset. We don't know what they might be going through. And so like in Stephen's case, they got really angry with him, didn't they? Yeah, so that's why sometimes we can get nervous when we have to talk to somebody about Jesus. We, we don't know how they might react. They might make fun of us. They might get upset with us, but God doesn't want that to stop us, does he? Yeah. We've got to pray to him and ask him for strength and wisdom like he gave Stephen to be able to talk to others about Jesus because we want others to know him and to be saved. Okay, so our challenge for today is something that might help you with that. Okay, it's called a secret helper card. Okay, so what you do is get you either a piece of paper and you can cut it a little smaller so it's easier to carry with you. Um, or you can get like an index card like this one. And then what you're gonna do is write down some things that you can do to help you talk to somebody about Jesus. So on mine, I put, we can listen to that person and hear what they're going through. And then they can tell them, we can tell them what Jesus has done for us. And we can explain the ABCs to them. Do you remember the ABCs? We can admit that, yeah, we're a sinner. And there's, there's nothing we can do to fix that, is there? But we can believe that Jesus died and rose again and washed away our sins. And that's how we can get to heaven. And then we can confess that Jesus is our Lord and our Savior, and he's the one that can get us to heaven. And then we can pray with them, and we can invite them to church and help them to continue to grow in their salvation and their walk with God. Okay? So I hope you'll do this with your family and have fun with it. You can even decorate it if you want. And then you can just fold this up like this and you can keep it with you. So when you have a chance to talk to somebody about Jesus, you can just pull it out and look at it and it'll help you do that. Okay. So let's look at our memory verse. We're going to be back in Romans chapter one, verse 16 for our memory verse. Okay. And remember Romans is just right after Acts. Okay. And we're in chapter one, verse 16. Okay, let's read that together. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. Okay, well, that was fun. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Enjoy your Mooseberry video and have a great week. Bye. And now, a special report from Hunt Burkleton. This is Mooseberry Academy, school for the very, very, very gifted students. Or is it an arena of tomfoolery and shenanigans? A place for unprovoked payback and retaliation? Perhaps it's all of these things. Perhaps it's actually a school for time travelers, alien overlords, or even real small fish. Whatever it is, I'll get to the bottom of it. I'm investigative reporter Hunt Burkleton, and this is Hunt Burkleton Knows What's Really Going On! Allow me to set the stage. Jasper, a Mooseberry student, made the bold decision to tell another student about Jesus. That's all fine and good, until you realize who that other student was. Stephanie Malefany, someone with quite the reputation. I'm writing a book on how to be an evil genius. Does that sound like someone who wants to hear about Jesus? Talking to Stephanie about Jesus is more dangerous than when I rode a motorized unicycle on a tightrope across the Bermuda Triangle. Couple ammo! Dangerous indeed. But what did these dangers entail? Not that I care or whatever. 
but I heard Stephanie rearrange the labels on Jasper's test tubes. Then when he thought he was creating a serum to stop the common cold, he actually made a hair growth formula. Guilty. I heard that she lined the inside of his lab coat with honey, then released a bunch of ants into his lab. Guilty. <laughs> the question I ask now is why? Why would someone accept this type of behavior? Is Jasper a glutton for punishment? Maybe he should have talked to Stephanie about something other than Jesus. Cheese, perhaps. Or bears. I feel bad for Jasper. But sometimes, that's what comes with sharing Jesus with others. The Bible talks a bunch about people like that. Again I ask, why? Why would a Christian go through all of this just to tell someone about Jesus? I think I can explain it. As a missionary here in Mexico, I see the difference it can make in people's lives when they hear about Jesus. Christians are willing to go through difficult times to share Jesus because it's just that important for people to know about him. An interesting point from Alex. But as any true investigative reporter will tell you, if you want the full story, you have to go straight to the source. Jesus am important to Christian. Christian tell no Christian about Jesus. I think Jasper Bob was going to agree with Alex. Sometimes it can be difficult for Christians. Although, if you are a genius, and can create a robot that looks exactly like you, you'll be able to avoid those difficult times. To be clear, I told Stephanie about Jesus myself, but when it was obvious she would try to get me back for it, I decided to hide out here and let her take it out on Jasper Bot. Ants? Honey, she got me! She got me! But how did she know? He's not the only genius here. There you have it. Sharing Jesus with others is sweeter than honey. It's worth it! Until next time, I'm Hunt Burkleton, and I know what's really going on!